Going on special assignment, if dancing is a universal language, a man from Arli has a lot to say. And along the way, he has helped promote his people to a world that shares a passion for preserving customs and traditions in a modern world. MTN's Joe Valley brings us his story. <laughs> Louis Plant Sr. has traveled from China to Russia to Poland to New Zealand, representing the Salish Kootenai tribes through his native dance. Oh, I never would have thought of this. I never would have thought of doing what I've done and being able to do what I've done. You know, I just wanted to dance. He's been dancing since he can remember, and through the Rocky Mountain Ballet Theater's Ballet Beyond Borders program based in Missoula, he's performed at the 2008 Olympic Cultural Festival in China to a presidential inauguration in Poland, bringing traditional fancy dancing to those who've never seen it. Shock and awe. I mean, just the sheer magnific magnificence of, you know, the regalia. It's, it makes a huge statement before he even, he even dances. Charlene Campbell Carey runs the Ballet Beyond Borders and travels with Louie. Often they're the only Americans at competitions or festivals. And what we do with Rocky Mountain Ballet Theater is the role of the arts in global human communication. As a member of the Kootenai tribe, Louie carries bits of his own history on his regalia, from beadwork done by his mom to bits of his own history. He's been taught to represent his people with honor wherever he goes. I've been told this time and time again ever since I was a little kid that I'm more than myself. I represent my tribe. And so I put an extension to that, my family, my community, my tribe, my state, my nation, because I have to hold myself a certain degree of uh, pride, not ego, but pride of who I am, where I'm from, my, my roots of being a tribal member of the Flathead Nation. And he uses dance to keep his own Kootenai traditions alive. And as he and Charlene have discovered, that's a universal concern. We discover very quickly that the Tatar people are very concerned about losing their identity with their language and their customs in Tatarstan and being swallowed up just by, you know, the Russian language and everything Russian from Moscow. And so immediately they identified, of course, with, with Louis and um, his performance because he's also uh, passionate about not just um, showcasing his, his life, but also to preserve it. But Louis's days of competitive dancing are coming to an end. He suffers from severe diabetic nerve pain. Dancing can relieve the pain for a while, but it's still very hard on his body. As you can see in this video when he's warming up without his regalia. But even when the dancing does stop, what Louis has done for Native Americans around the world will continue by sharing the real story of a diverse people who often fall victim to stereotypes. We don't fit a mold. Each one of us is different in our own different ways. And because of that, you know, it's beautiful. And we, we are holding on to our traditions, living in two worlds. We just want the world to know that we exist. In Missoula, Jill Valley, MTN News. Ballet Beyond Borders hosts its premier event in Missoula this January. Dancers from all around the world are expected to take part in the unique competition and presentation.